today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the number one affiliate marketing app on Shopify, and that is Enlistly. So you know the drill, we're gonna jump into my computer and I'm going to review this app with you right now. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is pull up your Shopify app store and you're going to type in Enlistly. This is what it looks like on the Shopify app store. Now you are going to click on the button that says install now, but I already have this added to my site, so I'm just gonna click open app. But nonetheless, you will see the exact same thing once you add it to your store. So this is the Enlistly um, homepage or the dashboard. So the first thing I wanna go over with you is the settings tab. So we're gonna come down here and we're gonna click on settings. Now, when you are starting your affiliate program, um, the settings tab is going to be one of the most important tabs that you wanna get started with because this is where you'll see things like your commissions, your tracking options, which we will go over. Um, you can also configure the forms here for the registration page, which is where your affiliates will sign up. And then you can view things like notifications as well. So these are some pretty important features that you wanna make sure that you set up correctly. Now, the first thing I'm going to review with you is this commission. So when you click set commissions, this is where you can automatically set a percentage or a commission rate that your affiliates will receive on qualifying purchases. Now, one thing that I love about Enlistly is the fact that they allow you to have an affiliate tiered structure, which means that if you set up an affiliate tiered structure, they can have affiliates sign up underneath them, and then they can make money off of their affiliates who sign up underneath them as well. So, you know, it's like a win-win for your affiliates and your business. So I love that. That's something extremely unique about Enlistly and one of my favorite features, to be honest. Okay, so now we're going to review the tracking options. So when you click on configure tracking options, this is where you can set up your cookies. So a cookie is set up to be essentially if a person or a customer comes in through an affiliate's link, how long do you want that referral to stay attached to that affiliate? So by default, Enlistly has it set up to be seven days, but you can edit it, making it longer or shorter, you know, whatever works best for your business. And then you enable custom storefront, no, you're hosted on Shopify, I would just leave that the way it is and then your referral link options so by default you know these are selected so I would just leave those the way they are as well so now we are going to go back and we are going to just quickly review where you can upload your logo which is right here and if you click on upload logo this is where you would just add the logo to Enlistly so any marketing materials content or just anything that Enlistly has um, you want to make sure that like your logo shows up on it so the branding can all be matching so that's where you easily add your logo and then, of course, if you scroll down and you go to the billing, this is where you can, you know, view or change your plan. If you feel like you want to upgrade your account with Enlistly, you can do that there. Okay, so now another piece of information that's super important on the settings tab is the registration and login page. So we're gonna click on configure forms. So this is the registration page that your affiliates will see when they join your affiliate program. So you wanna make sure you go through and fill out this page and have it you know, pretty set and standard because again, this is the page that your affiliates are going to see when they join your program. You can go through here and click the different form fields. You can enable certain things over here on the right hand side. So just based upon your business and where you're at in your you know, business's journey, just fill out this form to the best of your ability and what best suits your business. I do wanna highlight that this branding page is pretty important. You don't want the you know, basic Enlistly colors. You wanna make sure that your registration page matches your brand. So I would suggest going through and updating these two colors to make sure that everything you know, is seamless and aligns well with your brand. And then after that, after you're done editing your registration page, if you simply click on this link, this is what the page will look like, and this is what your affiliates will see when they land on your registration page. Okay, so now you've got your registration page all set up. Let's go back and discuss where you go to look at the payouts. So if you scroll down here and you click on the payouts, you can do configure payouts. So this is where you will be able to take advantage of the automatic payouts if you are on a paid plan. But I will say that Enlistly does integrate seamlessly with major companies like PayPal, for example. So if you're looking for more of an automatic payout feature, I would highly suggest upgrading to one of their paid plans so you can take advantage of that. 
Okay, now we're going to go back to the settings page and we're going to keep working our way through here. So if you scroll down and if you click on the welcome message, this is where you can update the message that your affiliates or anything that has to do with your affiliate program, you can update the welcome message here. So you are able to pretty, you know, customize and just tailor your welcome message to your business, making sure that the welcome message has your business's tone and, you know, so on and so forth. So this is where you can update the welcome message. And then if you scroll back, you can also update the different notifications. So here you will find different notifications that you can either enable or disable. So for example, you can be notified when an affiliate registers, you can be notified when an order is updated, and you can even be notified when affiliates discount code is created. Another message that I want to touch on is the invite message. So if you scroll down and over here you click update message, this is the invite message that you can configure messaging for affiliate invites. So this is where you can automatically invite customers to become affiliates using this feature. So if someone, you know, is a customer on your website and they check out, you can use this invite message and you're inviting customers to become affiliates. So that's also enticing them to come back and shop with you more and then they can, you know, be affiliates for your brand, your company, and then help you grow your business that way. So I also love this feature. This is the page where you would update the invite message and the subject. And again, it's all automatic. So you just set this up one time and then now any customers you have, you're inviting them to become affiliates and it's just automatic. Like I love that. That's one of the you know main features that I really, really, truly love. So that is pretty much the settings tab in a nutshell. Um, I would just review all of the different pieces on this page, make sure everything is set up correctly because again, the settings tab is where you're going to start once you add endlessly to your Shopify store. And now we are going to go over here on the left hand side under the manage up underneath the dashboard and we're going to review the affiliates tab. So this is where you would be able to see any of your affiliates who have been registered and you'd also be able to invite affiliates, affiliates this way as well. And if you click the share registration URL button, this is where you would just copy this URL and send it to people that you want to invite to become affiliates. And then once they sign up and they register, they would be up underneath this affiliates tab and you would be able to see a list of all of your affiliates here. If you go back over here under manage and you click on orders, this is where you will be able to see a list of orders that have come in through your affiliates specifically. So of course, you know, there's no orders found yet because I don't have the program set up, but once you have your affiliates registered and they start selling the products for you and people come in through the affiliate links, all of the orders will show up right here on this orders page. Over here under the payout section is another pretty important tab. So this is where you will be able to see a list of your affiliates and the amount of payments that they are owed. So you'll have a list of payouts for all of your affiliates on this tab. You'll be able to see things like the total outstanding, total pending, total paid, and total commissions. So, and it'll also be individualized for every single affiliate so you can keep up with it that way. Again, a super easy way would just be to configure automatic payouts, but you do have to be on the paid feature for you to be able to take advantage of the automatic payments. So that's just something to consider, but this is where you would be able to see um, all of the different payouts for your individual affiliates. Another big thing when it comes to the affiliate marketing puzzle is discount codes. So over here on the right hand side, you will click assign new. This is where you're going to assign your affiliates their own unique discount codes. So to find the affiliate you want to assign this code to, you would just search right here by their email and then you're going to scroll down and right here is where you would type their unique code. So like, for example, mine could be Megan 10 or something like that. This is a discount code that you are going to give the affiliates to share with their audience. So keep that in mind when you're creating the unique code. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to designate the discount type. So it could be percentage like 10% or it can just be monetary like $5 off. So on the amount section, this is the percent. So this is the discount percentage applied to the sale when this code is used. So let's say if my code was Megan 10, I would want customers to get 10% off when they use code Megan 10. And another cool thing right here is the commission. So this is where you would be able to also assign, you know, how much is your affiliate making every time this unique code is used. So this is the percent, which is what the customers receive this is the commission, which is what your affiliate will receive. And then another cool thing is you can also set this code to expire if you don't want it to just be ongoing forever. So I would definitely um, 
take advantage of the discount code tab because it's you know super easy you just assign it to your affiliate right here by their email and you definitely want to give your affiliates unique discount codes to share with their audiences because that allows you know new customers to potentially come and shop with you because they want to take advantage of a discount so i would highly highly suggest assigning unique discount codes to every single one of your affiliates once they register for your program the next thing I want to review with you and another cool feature that makes Endlessly so unique is the marketing material section. So this is where you can create new marketing materials and share them with your affiliates. So you can add an image or any of your marketing materials can go right here and then you can let your affiliates know the description of the material and the purpose of why you're giving them this marketing material. So this allows you to be able to easily provide all of your affi affiliates new marketing material. So I really love that Endlessly has made this super easy because you you can just share it with all of your affiliates all at one time. If you go over here to the landing pages, this is where you would be able to create new landing pages, which allows your affiliates to have access to be able to promote certain products or certain collections and their unique affiliate path URL is already designated into that landing page. So this again allows your affiliates to be able to promote certain products or collections on a page that already has their affiliate URL so they can be rest assured that, you know, any customer coming in through that URL will be assigned to them and they get a commission off of that purchase. And last but not least, we're going to review the metrics tab. So here you will be able to see top hits, which is, you know, top referring sites or top landing pages. The reports tab allows you to see different data within your store. So for example, you could see order totals by month, by affiliates, the sales, the earnings. You can even see how many affiliate signups by month. So I think that's pretty cool. So the reports tab, I would definitely take advantage of. And then when you click the exports, so this is where you would just easily export any um, you know, CSV files or just any anything you need to export, you could just easily do that here. And finally, just going back to the main Endlessly dashboard, they have organized it to where this dashboard is super easy to understand and to read. So you've got your orders in the last 30 days, you've got your earnings, total sales, total affiliate count, pending payouts, outstanding payments, and then they even have these cool little charts that allows you to see the orders over the last seven days, last 30 days, and one of my favorites, of course, how many affiliates are you having sign up per month? So all of this data is outlined and it's super easy to read in this nice dashboard form. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you want to learn more about Shopify, different apps to use, email marketing, just business things in general, then consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, if you've got any questions, please just comment down below. I hope to see you in the next video.